In regards to Donald Trump and the immigration policy, a lot of people look at it as a human, a human rights issue. But this is not a human rights issue. If you look at, if you look at uh, Muslims, there are 55 Muslim countries in this world. They are, in, uh, by and large, their size is bigger than Europe. Their size is bigger than Europe. So, who needs who? How come Europe is the one that's absorbing all these refugees and not country, wealthy countries full of space like, like Saudi Arabia, uh, like the Gulf states, the rest of the Arab world? I mean, the Arab world is from Morocco all the way to Persia and from Turkey all the way down to Sudan. But unfortunately, the West feels more responsible about the misery that's caused by Islamic terrorism than Muslims themselves. And another thing that I really admire about what Trump is doing is by doing this ban on Muslims from coming from radical Muslim countries, the six countries, he is sending a message that we cannot accept this, uh, this culture that is breeding terrorists. And trust me, this ban is going to force these governments to crack down on terrorism because they need America. They want to please the West, bottom line. But former presidents allowed Islam, actually allowed Islam to, with appeasement, through appeasement, we really enforce their behavior. We reinforce their behavior. And with boycott, we are expressing the truth, which is we can't accept you the way you are. And you better reform. You better reform your education. You, be you better reform the way you breed people to hate, anti-Semitism, hatred of the West. Uh, all, all of this uh, propaganda against the West and about jihad, conquering the West, this all has to end before we allow them back into civilized nations. So what would you say to the journalists who are all reporting that it's, uh, and of course CARE is, is jumping on Council on Islamic, American Islamic Relations, they're jumping on this as a, a racist issue. Uh, and uh, of course they're, they're omitting Saudi Arabia and Pakistan from this banned, banned area, but is this a racist issue as the press is trying to represent it? Well. If we mention race, this pleases the leftists. It's uh, catering to uh, some some people in the West who uh, who buy who buy it. I don't buy their race excuse, but the West always responds to it very well. So it's better to tell the West that Muslims and Arabs are not a race. There are white uh, Muslims, there are brown Muslims, there are black Muslims. And it has nothing to do with race. It is a culture that is hell-bent on conquering the West, big, bringing the West down, and by boycotting, uh, by putting uh, a freeze on allowing six nations, citizens from six nations, six Muslim, radical Muslim nations to come to America is a message that should have been done right after 9-11. We should have done it right after 9-11. So I'll go now. <laughs>